In this video, I'm going to take a look at some integrals of trig functions that deal with our log functions. And I've got four of them written over here. Um, I'll do an example of a tangent problem and then also maybe say a secant one just for a couple of examples to work this through. Um, if you are needing to memorize these four as well as all of your other trig integrals, I do have a very good video that shows some really nice tricks for memorizing all of these weird integral formulas. So be sure and check that link out in the um, description below. All right, so for this first one here, we're going to integrate the tangent of 5x dx. All right, we definitely do want to use a u substitution method. So I am going to find the inside part of this function. The inside part of this function would be 5x. So I'm going to let my u be 5x. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, and when I do that, I'm going to have a du, and then derivative of 5x is 5dx. If I go ahead and solve all the way down for a dx, then I would have a du over a 5 equals a dx. Okay, so there's my u substitution. Now let's come back up here to this original problem and do some substituting. I can replace the 5x with a u, so I'm going to integrate tangent of u and then replace my dx with a du over 5. All right, looking at that, then I can see that I'm going to need to pull out a 1 fifth. So I'm going to pull out a 1 fifth, and then I'll be integrating tangent u du. All right, so tangent u du is going to be the negative natural log absolute value cosine u plus c. So. As long as you have that memorized, this is going to go pretty good. So 1 fifth and then times this integral. So negative natural log absolute value cosine u plus c. And now for my last step, I need to take my u and plug it back in there. So for a final answer, I'm also going to pull that negative out there in front. So a negative 1 fifth natural log absolute value cosine 5x plus C. All right, and the trick here is just realizing that, you know, if this is something like a 5x or a x over 2 or an x over 3 or some function of x there, you're going to need to do that u substitution to see what's being pulled out there. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example of that kind of integral problem. Let's say maybe that we are going to integrate say secant x over 2 dx. Okay, um, so I'm going to again look at this and see an inside function right there. Outside function is secant, inside function is x over 2. So I'm going to let my u be that inside function, so x over 2. All right, now, before I take the derivative, it might be easier for you to take the derivative if maybe you'd write that out so that you can see the coefficient there easily. So maybe a u equals a 1 half x. All right, from some people that may be easier to see. Okay, now I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, du. Derivative of 1 half is just going to be a 1 half dx. And if I go ahead and solve all the way down, for d, dx, I would need to multiply both sides by 2. So I would have a 2 du equals my dx. All right, now continuing on with that, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to see what I can substitute in here. So secant's going to stay the same. My x over 2, we said was u. And then replacing the dx with what that equals would be a 2 du. All right, I've got a constant right there that I can pull out in front. So 2 integral secant u du. I'm finally now down to something that I can integrate. And going back and looking at those formulas, secant is the natural log absolute value secant u plus tangent u plus c. Okay, so I am ready to integrate this right now. So 2 times the natural log secant u plus tangent u plus c. It's in terms of u. I need it in terms of x because my original problem was in terms of x. So I'm going to take those u's and replace them with x over 2. So 2 natural log secant x over 2 plus tangent x over 2 
plus C. All right, so again, another pretty straightforward um, implementation of those formulas, but just keeping in mind that you've got to do that U substitution so that you can find what needs to be pulled out of that integral before you implement the actual formula. So definitely, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.